There are troubling reports of extremist settler violence against Palestinian civilians, including the death of a Palestinian um, child and other injuries. We likewise condemn these violent acts and also extend our condolences to the families of those affected. The language of condemnation and denunciation is good when it has an impact on the aggressors and make them rethink of their way of life, of their killing of children, of their killing of women, of their occupation of the land of the other, of their torching of the olive trees and the crops of the farmers. However, in the case of Israel it doesn't work, as during his visit together with 30 international diplomats to Jenin refugee camp, the European Union representative to Palestine expressed his shock at the zealous destruction of the camp and said, unless we have the root cause solved, we shall be here in weeks, months, and years watching the same scenes. These words should be taken into full account as Israel won't to stop its crushing machine against the Palestinians unless the free and honest world take a serious position of its crimes against a defenseless people. Israel killed the 12 Palestinians in Jenin and injured 120 others, and two days later its forces killed a young man of Harura village near Ramallah because he was peacefully defending the land Zionist settlers were taking over. Reconstruction, relief of pain, and consolation is good, but not the recipe for an ultimate solution. Ending violence requires ending the occupation of the land it has no right to take over. Thank you very much, uh, colleagues, if you can.